the Salvadoran Civil War, spanning from 1980 to 1992, was a prolonged and tragic conflict that profoundly impacted El Salvador, a Central American nation, fought between the government forces supported by the United States and various leftist guerrilla groups. This article provides an overview of the Salvadoran Civil War, its causes, key events, and its impact on the country. Background and causes The Salvadoran Civil War had its roots in long-standing socio-economic disparities, political repression, and social injustice in El Salvador. Decades of authoritarian rule, land inequality, and limited access to resources fueled widespread discontent among marginalized sectors of society. The war emerged as a result of these grievances and the pursuit of social change, factions and international involvement. The Salvadoran civil war involved several factions and attracted international attention. Government forces, the Salvadoran armed forces, supported by the United States, represented the established government and sought to suppress the leftist opposition. Farabundo Marti National Liberation Front The FMLN was an umbrella organization comprising several guerrilla groups. It emerged as the main opposition force, advocating for social justice, land reform, and democratic reforms. Key Events and Humanitarian Consequences The Salvadoran Civil War was characterized by significant events and devastating humanitarian consequences. Repression and human rights abuses, the government forces, backed by the United States, employed brutal tactics and engaged in widespread human rights abuses, including extrajudicial killings, disappearances, and massacres. Civilian populations often found themselves caught in the crossfire, leading to significant casualties and displacement. U.S. Intervention The United States played a significant role in the conflict, providing financial, military, and political support to the Salvadoran government. The U.S. intervention further escalated the conflict and contributed to the protraction of the war. Peace process and aftermath The Salvadoran civil war eventually came to a negotiated resolution. Peace accords In 1992, the government and the FMLN reached a comprehensive peace agreement known as the Chapultepec Peace Accords, brokered by the United Nations. The accords included provisions for human rights, land reform, demilitarization, and political reforms. Transition and challenges The post-war period marked a challenging transition for El Salvador. The country faced the daunting task of demobilizing combatants, implementing reforms, and fostering reconciliation among the deeply divided society. Legacy and Transformation The Salvadoran Civil War left a lasting impact on El Salvador. Transitional Justice and Reconciliation the war sparked demands for justice, truth, and accountability for human rights violations committed during the conflict. Efforts have been made to address these issues through truth commissions, reparations programs, and legal proceedings. Social and political transformation The civil war served as a catalyst for social and political change in El Salvador. It paved the way for democratic reforms, increased civic participation, and the inclusion of marginalized groups in the political process. Socio-economic challenges The war had severe economic consequences, including the destruction of infrastructure, displacement of populations, and disruption of livelihoods. Overcoming these challenges and fostering sustainable development remain ongoing priorities for El Salvador. Conclusion The Salvadoran Civil War was a traumatic chapter in the nation's history, marked by violence, repression, and human suffering. The pursuit of social justice and democratic reforms drove the conflict, leading to significant transformations in the aftermath. The legacy of the war serves as a reminder of the importance of inclusive governance, respect for human rights, and the ongoing efforts needed to heal wounds and build a more equitable and peaceful 